going on guys? It's been a while since I posted a video. We are out today to do a bit of a tyre test. We've mapped out a bit of a loop. It consists of a bit of flat, uphill, around, some gravel, and then fly down the downhill to the finish line, which we're just about to put out on the road, which consists of a piece of tape. There's our start and finish line, in line with the speed sign so we can see it coming from distance. We're going to go on a quick recce ride, have a look at the loop, work out the fastest lines. We're going to test four sets of tyres. We're going to have the 4.8 Jumbo Gyms, which are set up with tubes. We're going to go to my bike, which has 27.5 3.8 Maxxis, Maxxis Minions. Then we got my trusty old Fat Boy with the 26 by 4.0 Jumbo Gyms. And then, what do you got? I got uh, 29 by 2.6 uh, Victoria Mezcals. So like, they say 2.6, but when I put them on there, they're closer to 2.8. So I'm going to call them 2. Point, yeah, 2.8 Mezcals. So basically, we're going to test the fat versus plus versus B fat versus almost fat. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll show you the course I've planned out for the tyre test. Starting at the black tape line I've put on the road. It's about a 4.4 kilometre loop. Let's go. All right, we'll start off on the flat on the bitumen. Around the first corner of the loop. Still relatively flat bitumen. Around the second corner, nice smooth bit when this the road's pretty new. All right, now onto the gravel section of the loop. I right know, I'm starting to drop a few gears now. Starting to get into the real steep part of the climb. I'm sure on camera this looks flat. I'm sure it's not. Wouldn't say it's ridiculously steep. Definitely enough to get the heart rate up though. Alright, just down our third corner. Still on the gravel. Into a short, sharp pinch. Pick up a bit of pace down here. Around the final corner, back onto the bitumen. Now the final straight, back to the finish line. Three, two, 
One, go. All right, this is run number one. That was pretty hard. I don't know how I'm going to do doing six runs of that. <laughs> 12 minutes 08 for run number one. That's on the 27.5 by 3.5 Maxis Minions. Ben's up next on the 26 by 4.8 Jumbo Gyms with tubes, also at 12 PSI. Here he comes to the finish line. Rolling in. On three, two, one, go. Twelve nineteen. Just go back from your second run, twelve minutes nineteen. So that's eleven seconds slower than my first run. So we'll average the two out. Ben's just about to start his second run. Round two. So, on Ben's bike, swapped over to the 29 plus wheel set. And on my bike, I've actually put Ben's old, old wheel set on with the Jumbo Gyms 4.8. So, I'll be interested to see how they compare to my Maxxis Minions. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Just checking in for the results. How are we looking? 11.26, which is up from uh, like your slowest before was 12.19. So yeah, it's the best part of a minute faster. Well, there you go. Who would have thought 4.8 jumbo gyms with tubes are faster than 3.8 Maxxis Minions. Yeah, I think I went faster last time. How'd that feel? Bike felt fast, I felt slow. <laughs> no, on the flat, on the, the hard surface, like it freaking zooms. Yeah. So it does, yeah. So on the uphills where I have to work, it wasn't so good. 1228, 1224, 1221. So consistent. Three, three seconds faster. <laughs> <laughs> What's that in dollars per second? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's uh, Three hundred dollars per second. <laughs> a bit more. <laughs> three hundred, three hundred and thirty dollars per second. There you go. <laughs> we're going to call it quits for today. It's going to be dark, and we're getting a bit too fatigued to keep doing more runs. We'll come out tomorrow. Each going to do another run on the wheels that are on our bikes. Then we're going to swap. So I'll have the twenty-nine plus, and we'll bring out the old bike with the twenty-six by four point zero tomorrow as well. A bit of a wild yeah, card entry, which I have a sneaking suspicion is going to win the race. We'll see. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, we're back here again for day two of tire testing. This time I've got the 29 plus wheel set on my bike. Just done a warm up lap. About to do my first run. It'll be interesting to see if the 29 plus wheel set is any faster than the Jumbo Gym, the 4.8 Jumbo Gyms. All right, the time to beat is 11.26 and that was set on the 26 by 4.8 Jumbo Gyms. Now I've swapped to the 29 plus wheel set. We're hoping for 11.23 and maintaining the uh, like the $330 per, dollars per second time advantage. <laughs> and if that actually happens, I will laugh my ass off. In three, two, one, go. How do you reckon you went? 10 seconds faster. All right. Well, the last one was 11.26. Yep. Oh, that was 11.11. For a point of reference, we're going to do one more timed lap on the road slash gravel bike. 32 mil tyres, carbon fibre frame, weighs next to nothing. Be interesting to see if there's much time difference between that and the fat bikes. Yes. It definitely looked quicker going across the line. No, it was quicker. But it was faster. It was 10.49. That was the uh, enjoyment factor. Uh, like the road part's actually quite good because it's smooth. The uh, the gravel climb, that sucked balls. <laughs> <laughs> it was horrible. Time for the wildcard entry. I brought out the old Fat Boy with 26 by 4.0 Jumbo Gyms. Set up tubeless, running 12 PSI. I've got a sneaking suspicion that this could be 
faster than all the other bikes. Bah, possibly the road bike. 10.49, so that's my time to beat. Let's see if I can beat the road bike. In three, two, one, go. It already feels faster than the other bike. It is a good, probably three kilos lighter. Yeah. The rail is probably a little bit more efficient than the pinion. The chain's probably a little more efficient than the belt drive. Definitely feels faster. I think it's just the lack of weight. The old 4.0 Jumbo Jim Super Roll, bloody good though. I think they feel like they got less resistance than the 29 Plus, maybe. Here's a quick comparison of the three front wheels. On the left we've got the 29 plus, in the middle is the Jumbo Jim 4.8 and on the right is the 27.5 by 3.8 Maxxis Minion. They're all fairly similar. I'd say the 4.8 and the 29 by 2.8 are pretty much exactly the same. And then the 27.5 by 3.8 is probably about 10 to 15 mil lower. Yep. 